Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Pikmin games for the GameCube and Nintendo Wii. The reason why I'm tackling both versions in the same video is because they are almost the same game. There are some slight differences between the GameCube and the Wii versions of the games, but aside of the better controls on the Wii, they are almost identical. Pikmin is unique. Like Nintendo usually manages to impress, this one stands out too. In Pikmin, you play as this little fellow who crash landed and now has to repair his ship. He finds out that he can harvest Pikmin and now you have to use Pikmin to roam around and find all 29 parts needed for the ship in 29 days. That's about it in what the story goes. The gameplay is the true star of the game and it's engaging. You have three types of Pikmin, the red ones, which are fire resistant, the blue ones, that can go underwater, and the yellow ones, that can be thrown higher. You can command your Pikmin to build stuff, you can harvest more, and occasionally insects can steal Pikmin from you. Or when you run, some Pikmin might stumble and fall and you leave them behind. But don't worry, you'll always have a huge pile of Pikmin at your disposal. As for the parts, you can find them either scattered around on the map or you can find them by defeating bosses. The game is really good, it's unique, it's engaging and even if it didn't spark your interest, if you find the game cheap, you should try it and see something different, maybe you like it. Also compared to the GameCube version, the controls on the Wii feel much better and precise than the GameCube one. Pikmin 2 has a different story. After getting back on your planet with the new ship you've built in the first one, the company at which you work goes bankrupt and now you and two other characters go back to find treasures and repay the debt. The core mechanics are the same and the game developers build upon the great formula. You have two new types of Pikmin, the heavy purple ones that can carry the weight of 10 Pikmin but which are very slow when it comes to movement, but still very useful when it comes to boss battles since they are very heavy, and the fast and poisonous white Pikmin. And by finding blobs of gel, you can craft two types of spray, the ultra spicy one, which boosts the stats of your Pikmin, and the other one that can freeze a big majority of the enemies you encounter. Also, since you play as two characters, you can always switch between the characters, which is really good, since you can go with one character in one part of the map and with the other one in the opposite, so that you spare yourself a lot of walking around. Also now, the game has caves, which adds a layer of difficulty to the challenge-seeking individuals. You get less occasions to get new Pikmin in these areas, which means that you have to be careful on how you tackle an enemy. And since a big chunk of the game is played in caves, be prepared that the game will turn hardcore. And I don't like the caves. And not because I'm not into difficult games usually. But I mean visually. Compared to the nice visual diversity from the first game, the caves look generic. There are some visual differences between them, but not enough to not fend off the feeling that they look repetitive and dull. I mean, it's one thing to see some walls on a dark background and something else to see this. Luckily, you still get outdoor environments. You get nice looking levels like in the first one. But you also get dark caves. And you play a big chunk of the game in those caves. Which make the game longer and add variety if you think about it. I mean, on paper, it sounds like the game is more varied but also the caves make the game feel more repetitive. Seems the caves feel the same at some point. Also both games have a challenge mode. For when you finish the story, you can tackle that. So it's up to you which game you like the most. The first game, which is easier to beat and has nicer visual wealth, takes you less time to finish, but I liked it more. Or you can get the second one, which takes you longer, has even better controls, mechanics and new content, but is also hardcore. Both games are great. I'm just comparing them because I usually get the question in my videos which is the best. I hope this part of the video will help you in your decision. 
Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.